Hey guys, this is here. This is going to be a league starter guide for Flame Last Totems, and I'm going to cover both Templar and Witch. It's going to be a very good build for solo self on racing and uh, league start scenarios. The skill tree pathing I'm going to show you will not have a ton of life, but you can feel free to take life nodes that are close by. It will slow you down, but if you aren't experienced, I definitely recommend it. It's super cheap, doesn't require any uniques to do. There are also amazing builds for transitioning into other builds later, for example Valspark, Val Fireball, or other Elementalist Inquisitor builds that you would like to do. You start off with Fire Trap and Freezing Pulse. Once you get to level 12, you use Firestorm and Orb of Storms with increased critical strikes to proc Elemental Overload. This gives you a massive damage boost. Around level 30, you can start doing Double Totem Flame Blast. You need a 4 link and you do Faster Casting, Control Destruction, and Spell Totem Flame Blast. At level 38, you switch out Control Destruction for Ink AoE. Your 5th link is Increased Critical Strikes as a Templar, and your 6th link is Elemental Pearl Lift. For which, the 5th link is Fire Penetration, and the 6th link is Control Destruction. It's important to get a Spell Totem early on, so you can start leveling it for when you can actually use it. Other gems would be Shield Charge, Faster Attacks, Fortify, Cast when Damage Taken, Immortal Coal, and you can either run Anger or Blasphemy and uh, Temp Chains with Arctic Armor. Bandits are going to vary depending on if you're going to respect to something else or if you want to go CI later. But for the life based version of this, on um, Templar, I would recommend Oak Crate in Illyria. And then for the Witch version, Oak Crate in Skill Point. Ascending is very important for both classes, so you want to do it as early as you're comfortable with. I recommend around level 35 if you can. Inquisitor gets Instruments of Virtue, which is great cast speed, attack speed, and spell damage when you're using Shield Charge and the Spell Totem. So definitely gives you a big clear speed increase. On the Inquisitor, you can wait with doing the Cruel Ascension until you're strong enough to do the Merciless since it doesn't have a big impact. For Witch, Normal Lab is really important as well for uh, the Conflux, but here Cruel Lab is also important since it gives you Prolif. Merciless and Uber Lab isn't that important for Witch, you take uh, Pendulum and Mastermind of Discord. I'm going to show different leveling stages of both the trees and I'm going to link them in the description. Both the Templar and Witch are very similar except in later stages when the Templar goes for crit and Witch doesn't. As I mentioned earlier, you don't have to follow it completely. It's smart to adapt your own playstyle a bit. And if you feel that you have too little health, grab some more. If you find nice jewels early on, grab jewel slots. Gear-wise, the Inquisitor and Witch will be a little different. You can get nice crit gear and it's a bit more expensive to go Inquisitor. And uh, items you need are sort of similar to Vospark, like a attack speed crit dagger, diamond rings. And the rest of the gear, you just get health and resist for the starter version. For Witch, you can get nice cast speed scepter and later on a Dorianis as a very in-game option. And you can get cast speed rings or fire damage rings for Witch as well. There's going to be a lot of different versions of both Inquisitor and Elementalist Flame Blast Totems, but there shouldn't be two massive changes between any of them, and they should all be very, very good late starters, no matter what you end up choosing. I'm sure some will be a little favoring clear speed, and some will be a little favoring tank. But at the end of the day, very, very strong late starters. Hopefully, this helps uh, a lot of you in Legacy League. I usually don't include leveling trees and stuff like that give me some feedback on the video in the comments down below and if you have any questions drop by on twitch.tv slash scissorin i'll see you guys later good luck in legacy and try to die a lot less than i'm planning to do